Welcome back to Tugs Rugs. This is Travis here. Hey, we have an, an exciting video today. I'm doing my first ever tufting in-person class. And we have Chase here, man. So Chase wants to learn the tufting business. So that's what we're about to get ready to do today. So basically we're about to go from start to finish from him looking up the logo, from him uh, putting on his burlap on the frame, from him drawing, uh, using a projector to uh, project the image on the burlap or on his uh, frame and then drawing it to tufting. So, hey man, so we, I'm about to get ready to show him some things on the computer real quick and then uh, we're finna get this thing going, man, let's go. All right, so first what we about to get ready to do, I'm about to get ready to show Chase. He about to get ready to do this right here, this image here. So what we did, we just found it on Google and right now we're about to get ready to reverse it. So did you know that you have to reverse this image? So if you were to put this image on there, so say for instance, uh, my logo, boom. So we got a logo here. Um, so this logo here, uh, if I was to draw the image just like this on there and then start tufting it, what's gonna happen is the image is pretty much going on the back. So what's gonna happen when you look at your rug It'll be it's going to be backwards. So now you have to start when you're tufting, you have to reverse it so the other side can be the correct way. You get what I'm saying? So if this image, we know that the wing is supposed to be facing, uh, uh, going right. And if we was to tuft it now, just like this, and then the wing is left, the, the, pretty much the logo is going to be kind of messed up. So um, that's something you really have to remember because when we first started, we messed up on a couple of rugs. I think I had a rug that I did like, I think I did the whole thing and I had to do it three times. Cause first, first time um, my yarn, so sometimes like I teach about the yarn. So when you have different brands, so like say for instance, you say, hey, I'm running out of black, but Walmart doesn't have any more black. So I have to run the Joann's, but it's a different brand. When you are working with those two brands, sometimes their shades are different. So when you tuft them together and then you start looking at your rug, you're going to see it's kind of off. So one of them might be like a lighter black, which is crazy, and then one be dark, and you will see that. And so that's what happened with my oranges. So I had to basically throw that away because um, I had ran out of orange, and I had just grabbed some orange, and I was tufting. And then when I put it in the light, and you can see it, it's like two different shading. So I can't give a customer that. So, um, so you have to watch out for the brands. You got to make sure you have the same brands. And then I did it again and forgot to reverse it. Then I had to do it all over again. That that logo is it, it sucked. So, but I got it done and then it, and got you know and got it to the customer. But yeah, we're about to get ready to do um, reversing this image. So on here, basically what you want to do is you want to go to the crop. So we are going to the crop theme right there. So once we click on the crop. It's going to take us to, well, I'm on Windows, so I'm not sure how Apple work or Apple products. And then we're just going to go to flip. So on here, you got you got the flip image right here. So we're just going to click that flip image. And once we click that uh, click that flip in the image, it'll flip it. So then we'll just save it. And now it's flipped. So now it's time to put it on the projector. So we're going to get ready to get this thing on the projector, all right? All right, so before we do the image on projected, we don't have anything on it to project it on. So we have to put our burlap on. So we have the natural burlap that I ordered from Walmart. Um, link in the description to all of the supplies that I'm using today. Um, and then we're gonna do staples. So usually people make their frames, they put the carpet um, tacks around it. Um, when I first started, I, did, I really didn't like that because it kind of, you know, made my burlap loose. So we're going to use staples today. So let's grab our staple gun. We're going to get some staples. And then Chase here is going to put the burlap on. And I'm going to show him how to make it pretty tight because you have to make sure your burlap is tight before you start tufting. All right. So Chase uh, is about to get this on. We got our staples. Like I said, I got my staples and my staple gun from Walmart. And we're going to start on the right side. We're going to make sure Chase is comfortable with starting on the right side. So go ahead. Go for it, Chase. All right. So he's going to get it in the corner. 
And then he was just gonna make sure he can hold it there before he make his first staple. There's no wrong or right way to start it off. So if, if you wanna grab this hand and hold it right here, yep, hold it right there so it won't fall. There you go. And you just put one staple in there in the corner. Yep, push it now hard. Right. You gotta use your muscles, Chase. Chase gotta use his muscles, y'all. He gotta do some push-ups before he start this. All right, so now what we wanna do we want to get, so you, you can leave that over there. You'll get this hand and you'll just kind of pull it tight and then we'll just keep going. Chase got to get some muscles, y'all. Chase, what the heck, Chase? Chase needs some muscles, y'all. He needs some milk. Shoot. <laughs> so what we might have to do for Chase, we might have to get him an electric um, staple gun because Chase got to do some oh, more. Shoot. Some more. Yeah, Chase, Chase, Chase don't got no muscles, y'all. You might want to maybe come down here a little bit and then up here. So if you put your hand down a little bit right here, but you got to squeeze hard. You got to squeeze hard. So we just going to keep going over there. And then we're just going to make sure we got a straight line going across. Chase needs some muscles, y'all. Look at Chase struggling, y'all. Chase is struggling. <laughs> Dang, Chase. <laughs> All right, so what we're about to get ready to do, because Chase does have a dad that can help him with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to help Chase get this, um, get this burlap on here. I'm going to get it nice and tight for him. All right, so let me see that, Chase. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull that pretty tight. And I'm just going to keep going down. I know I make it look easy, but I did my push-up this morning. You got to do your push-up, Chase. You got to get physically fit, y'all, and tough then. Chase, no, now, y'all. I did it for five hours. I think I did. You did what? I did it for five hours. You danced for five hours? Oh, man. Did you do any flips with it? No. Oh, man. What kind of dance do you do? Uh, show bar. Show choir, nice. All right, I ran out of staples, so we're going to have to put some more staples in here. So I'm not going to bore you. I'm not going to do this whole thing because um, you're going to watch the video um, of putting the burlap on. So we're going to go ahead and get this on, and then we're going to get to the uh, projecting the image on the burlap. All right, so Chase is now doing his, his tracing. Let's see if he know how to trace good because he didn't have no muscles for the burlap. So he's doing good so far, you all. All right, so he's going to go ahead and finish drawing this image up because this is his next step. Then once we do that, then it's going to be time to tuft after this. Check it out, man. Chase did his best. He got the lines in there. So all you kind of want to do is get the lines in there so you kind of know where to put your colors in there. So what we're going to do now, uh, Chase is going to come back in and he's going to label his lines. And we're just going to put like a letter there. So maybe B for blue, um, W for white, and then uh, um, Y for yellow. So we can kind of know. So we'll have to use this picture again because everything is pretty much solid lines. So we know that... This line goes all the way around. So if we just put a letter here and we know that this is maybe blue and then we put a W here, we know that whole line is white and, you know, and so on. So that's what we're about to get ready to do. And then uh, Chase is about to get these, get his uh, tufting gun. And then I'm going to show him how to um, put this yarn in. All right. So first of all, we have some brand new um, yarns. So what I like to do uh, when I go to the store and look for some yarn, I like to look for some that have this little piece that's kind of already out. Um, something like this. Uh, like how it's already out, you already know you can kind of pull it out. Because now this one here, I got to look for it. And if I don't find it, I have to pretty much go in there and kind of like pull out, you know, a lot of yarn to kind of start. But when it's like this, it's easier. Because what I do, I just pull this out. 
And then uh, basically I'll, I'll kind of loosen it up so the yarn can come out kind of freely. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one on one side on the floor. And i make sure I keep that so I can find it. Make sure. So basically I'll just do that freely until it feel like it'll kind of like pull by itself if I was to start tufting, that you don't feel it like kind of like pulling back um, or it's not too stiff to pull out. So once I do that, I pull that one thing on the side. All right, so basically once you get that one, so I'm gonna have Chase do the other one. I want you to loosen that up. So basically you keep this piece here so you can find it. Cause once you start pulling all this out, you're gonna be kind of looking for it. Yeah. And you just kind of like keep it over there until you feel it kind of loose. You want to make sure it's loose enough. So when the uh, tuck is gonna start pulling it, it'll just kind of just pull it out with ease and it's not gonna pull the yarn out. So whatever you feel like is loose, that's cool. All right. So now that we got both of these ends like that, so what we do now, I like to break it. Chase, you gotta use your muscles, okay? You gotta use your muscles. The reason why I break it and not cut it, because what it gives, it gives like this little skinnier uh, uh, piece. See, look, look at Chase. I told him to use his muscles. Chase is not using his muscles today, y'all. Who has it? <laughs> All right, so we gotta do, I'm gonna do that for Chase, y'all. So we're just gonna kind of break that, right? And then once we get both of them kind of like real skinny, we'll kind of like twist them and we'll put them together because we want two yarns to go in so it can make the rug nice and thick. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure, it's not plugged in now, but we'll make sure our gun is off because there's a couple times I had it and it went, to, it went to, you know, you make a thing, hit that button and then now it hit your hand or sometimes I have it in my lap and it goes all over my leg, scratch my leg up. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. But usually, if uh, if your if your if your thing is start like this right here, and if you was to cut it on, it'll kind of adjust itself, and it'll, it'll kind of go back where it's supposed to be. And make sure you cut that off. Make sure it's off, and it's for safety. Where well, I just put my ends at. Let me put the ends at. Let's just jack this up. Huh? All right, I lost my end, y'all. Oh, here you go. All right, so I got my ends. I'm gonna have Chase do it, but I'm gonna show him first. Let me bring you a little bit closer so we can see what Chase, see what his abilities is. He's gonna be a professional tufter one day. So we're gonna show, we, he's gonna show you that, you know, he hardly know how to do it now, but then, you know what I'm saying, a couple months, he's gonna be a master. And then this is gonna be easy. So we're gonna put it through there first. And like I said, we gotta make sure we twist that. Uh, did you ever sew before? like? put a thread in the needle. All right, so basically it's the same thing, but this one is a little bit easier because this hole is kind of, it's bigger than that little tiny needle when somebody's sewing. So once I do that, and I'll just put that in there and just pull that through, just like that. So we're gonna have Chase do it. All right, let's see, let's see what Chase got. Let's see what he got, y'all. When you're teaching, you gotta make sure you are not doing four. You gotta make sure you, you know, they're actually learning how to do it. So you gotta let them do hands on. You got both of them together. You gotta make sure both of them are together. You gotta twist it good. You get in there. There you go. You almost got in there. Let's push it down a little bit more. There we go, it's in there. You gotta grab that thing. It's in there. All right, just like that. But he didn't put both of them together. But it's all good, people. We know, we, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get Chase a um, a thread feeder um, until he figures this part here out. The thread feeder is basically like a little thing that you put through, and then it got like a little hole, and you stick it in the hole, and you just pull the whole thing through. But yeah. So when you do this, you kinda wanna keep enough of a, uh, you know, this here, you kind of just want to go straight down in there. All right. Now I'm messing up because Chase got me messing up because he wanted to mess up, y'all. All right. All right, so we got that started right there. And that's pretty much how, how you're going to do it. Um, 
And now what we about to get ready to do is uh get the tufting. Let's do it. All right, so Chase is gonna do a couple practice lines real quick. There you go. So when you start to come in the curve, you kind of want to stop. And then what we're gonna do, so let's let's practice tapping it. So I just want you to not go full force. I just kind of want you to tap it as you go. Yeah, like that. Make sure, make sure, make sure this part here is always on the burlap. Yeah, like so. All right. Let's do another line here. There you go. So usually, like if we're in this part here, we don't need to tap it. We'll go full force, full force next to each other. What we want to tap is these lines here because if we go full force, what it's going to do is going to kind of go off like that. And you don't want to be going up like that, you know, because you got another color here. So we want to kind of tap it so we can kind of make a straight line. Some people, they can go straight across like that. Um, but especially when you're starting off, you kind of want to tap it, you know, as you go. So, um, do I want to start you with that line? Let's do another line real quick. And then we're going to go and uh, we're going to go to this one. like so. That looks good. Look at that straight line. Your first time tufting, look at you. That good. How do you feel so far? Good. It's good? Do it feel good? You can feel like you control the gun? Yep. All right. So let's do this. Let's do, okay, we're going to start on this outside. So let's do this line here first. So we're just going to kind of like tap it and then come up there. Let's try to get that line going. Make sure we are on the line now. You're not on the line. What happened, Chase? Chase, what happened, Chase? <laughs> Can you not see the line? There we go. Yeah, I need to stop right there. All right. And so, now that we went into, I mean, actually, this is fine because we got blue that's in here. But if you was if you was on this line and you went into the in the white line, in order to take that out, all you have to do is just pretty much just pull that yarn out. You know, if you mess up, so it's you know it's really no you know you you're fine if you mess up. You know, you just kind of just pull that line out. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna kind of just finish doing this line. We're gonna try to get over here and try to get that done. Which that's fine, that's fine, that's cool like that. And then what I like to do, I like to come over here and get this line, because like I said, we don't want to run into the to that white, where the white's supposed to go. So it's almost like a coloring book. When you got a coloring book, you have lines that you're drawing, right? So we want to try to get our lines there. So remember, we want to make sure our gun is straight in. So even if you have to pull your, your, your arm up a little bit as you go, we want to make sure it's straight in because we don't want to start putting in a tilt because it's going to start putting holes in it. So let me get you this chair because maybe the chair you're sitting in, the chair might maybe like let you get more control. There you go. See, I think that chair, sometimes that chair lets you get more control. Make sure that gun, stay, that gun stays in the burlap. Because what's gonna happen is it's gonna that the scissors gonna start cutting this and putting holes in it. Alright. So now we got that line over there, and so now we wanna start coloring it in. We wanna make sure we get the rest of those. Alright. If you feel like it's not moving, you have to make sure you, you move the gun as you go. So start moving the gun as you go. Because if you stay in one spot, it's gonna make a hole. Yep, make sure you get it in there. You gotta make sure you go all the way up. All right, let me see what's going on. Cause I don't want you to start creating a hole. All right, so let's leave that there. Let's try to color that in. All right, do the next line over next to it. Yep, you see all the time, you gotta make sure this part is on your burlap. Cause what just happened was you had it like way over here. And like I said, those scissors are gonna cut that burlap and it's gonna put a hole in it. You do not want that. So make sure you, you pushing in the whole time as you tucked in. So make sure it's all the way in. Even if you have to push it in a little bit harder, 
Yeah, just like that. There you go. There we go. All right. So let's fill on the other side. See how you did. See how you did. Let's see how you did, y'all. Yeah. You want to see it? Let's move this weight real quick. Let's move it just a little bit so you can kind of like look back there and see how you did. Check it out. Man, look at that. Yeah. You did good. You're doing good. So now we're just going to continue to do it. Let me get this weight off of your, your stuff. So now we got to start going this way. All right. So now we got to kind of like turn that gun and kind of go the other way. We got a white line right there. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this guy. Yes. Yep, make sure that gun stay in. Yep, all the whole time you're starting to lift it. Make sure you're pushing in the whole time you go. Yep, make sure you're doing it just like that. Keep it in. There we go. Doing good, y'all. Look at that. Check it out. All right, try to turn your gun and go back the other way. All right, let's move your chair this way a little bit. Yeah, so you can be right in front of it. There we go. And push it in there. There you go. That's that way going. It's kind of... There you go. Cool. All right, let's get that little spot right there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and try to finish that line off going that way. But we gotta go all the way around with and try to get all that blue around. Chase is doing pretty good, y'all. Check him out. It's first time ever. Tough thing. Watching Terex Rugs videos. And look at him. Remember, you gotta make sure that that gun stay in. You gotta you gotta keep full force on that. Yeah, like that. There you go. Keep it all in. Don't let it loose. Keep it all the way in. There you go. So feel like you're going over the same line. You got to make sure you you pushing down on it. Just hit the hit the trigger so I can cut it. There you go. That's good. Look at him, y'all. Yes, sir. Y'all, look at the control already that he got. From here when he first started to down there. Look how look how neat that look already. <clears throat> About to be a master tufter. Soon he's gonna get good and he's gonna go through this pretty fast. So we're gonna let him continue to do this um, blue line around. And we're gonna get the yellow going. We got a bird that just flew in the office. Where do you go? Hey, birdie, where you go? Oh, look at him. Bird is in the office. And you're on my money making rub. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Hey. Hey, where my money making rub? Hey, buddy. Hey, look at him. Oh my! <laughs> you got a bird flew in the office, y'all. Hey, birdie. Here you go. He going. He going to you. He likes chase, y'all. Oh, look at him. 
Look at him. Okay, Birdie, what are you doing, Birdie? You you gotta go out, Birdie. Hey, where you going? Where you going, Bird? I mean, I'm cool. I got a bird. Birdie. What are you doing? Where are you going? I know. Come on. Chase trying to learn something, Birdie. Come on now. You got to go. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, Birdie. All right, Birdie. I mean, you can stay right there. It is a little warmer in here. It's cool with me. It's, it's definitely cool with me. So, yeah, we got a bird that flew in on Chase's session, you all. Chase trying to learn how to make a rug, and uh, the bird want to watch. It's cool. You you cool right there, bird? He trying to go high. Whatever. <laughs> the bird is... You gonna go back out? What you gonna do? Where you going? Where you going, buddy? You want a chip? Oh, you looking for something to eat? You going back out the office? Okay, buddy. What the fuck? All right, he's out of here, y'all. He's gone, y'all. Where you go? Oh, he's gone. Bye, buddy. Cool. <laughs> But Chase is doing fine, y'all. We had an interruption. Well, I guess. They wanted to watch the Master Tufter go to work. All right. So we got a lot of blue going on, man. So we're going ahead and... Uh, yeah, there you go. Make sure you keep that gun going, yep. You don't want to stay in one spot. You'll put a hole in it. Just make sure you keep that gun going, just like that. There you go. You just try to go straight up and down. We just keep going straight up and down. Well, going up. Yeah. And you don't have to push it in so hard. Just make sure your uh, your uh, this part here is in the burlap. Yep. There you go. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a time lapse going for Chase, man, so y'all can see him go ahead and get all this blue done in fast motion. What you think? It looks oh, good. That's awesome. Yes, that does look good. So what I like to do, I like to come and just make sure, like I like to fill on here to make sure I don't feel like it's you know anything that's feel like it's yarn missing, you know. So if it all feel pretty thick, you know, then I know I'm pretty much done. So you remember on the other side when I was like, hey, make sure you start here and go all the way across. You see how this is more thicker mm -hmm. than this right here? Yeah. So that's what I was saying. So, cause what, what you was trying to do, you was trying to fill in down here, but you was making it thicker and then you only did like two lines in the middle. But that's, that's only because of your, the drawing that you did. Like um, when you did the lines, um, you know, it wasn't more, it wasn't more straight. 
So sometimes when you when you come in and do that, you have to just make you just kind of got to like make that line straight. You just kind of like got to make it. You know, you just keep going, um, especially when you're doing lines. So um, so this one was a little bit different because you were just kind of just filling it in. So that one was fine. But when you're doing a line, you got to make sure you're going the same all the way across. Or you're going to have, you know, big here, skinny here, back juicy right there. You know, you get what I'm saying? So it's a learning thing, man. But you did a great job. Look at that. So all we got to do is get the glue on there. And we're going to let that dry. And then we're going to... Uh, yeah, while the glue drying shoe, we, what I do while it's drying, we'll start shaving it on this side to kind of like make it nice. So then once the glue going, we'll just go ahead and just get the backing on. All right. So start at the very edge of what you want to glue. So all the way up on that blue. There you go. Yeah, you're getting the glue on the back. And then... um. Let it dry, and then we'll get the backing on. We'll shave it down. We'll be pretty much done. So overall, what do you think about making the rug? Was that pretty fun? Yeah. Was it, it time consuming though, right? It takes a little time. So that's why, you know, you don't want to cheat yourself and, and um, you know, charge somebody only $25. You know, because you got to remember, you got all the materials that you had to pay for. You got this big old tube of glue you got to pay for you got uh you know scissors all that and then you got the time that you you did to actually do the rub and if you calculate that you're gonna charge 50 bucks you probably only make like three four dollars an hour you want them to do that <laughs> you want to make four dollars an hour now <laughs> yeah all right, so we're just gonna shave on this side while well, the glue is flying. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just shave and try to knock a step out. This uh, stuff hoping you will only dry in 20 minutes. All right, we're finishing it up. He's going ahead and just put down the, the sides, the edges, and you get the backing on. Just so overall, what do you think about tufting? I like it. You like it? Think you want to start a business with it? Mm-hmm. All right, people, we got another master tufter. Young one, too. You say he was, uh, what you say, he was 13? 12. 12, almost 13. Yeah, so he's just getting those around. You forgot something. What is that? Well, you can't come home tonight. <laughs> Man. Did good, though, for your first rub. Did pretty good. So, all right, man, that was my first ever tufting class. Thanks, Chase, for letting, you know, <laughs> letting me teach you something for the first time ever in person. That was pretty cool, man. Online, online is a little bit different, but in person was pretty cool. I pretty like that. I, I, I love that a lot. So um, the glue is not quite dry. Um, Chase is going to take it home. I'm going to send him home with some backing. And um, you're going to see the finishing. I'm, he's going to send me some pictures once he's all done. And then uh, we're going to show you the finishing result. So, hey, anything that you want to say to everybody? Hi. Yeah? You just want to say hi? Yeah. Yeah? All right. He said hey, everybody. But, um, hey, see y'all on the next rub. Peace.